What's up everyone, Cole Caparoon here. Thank you for stopping by for another video today. I'm really excited about this one. This is gonna be fun. Today I wanna go over my picks for plugins for mixing all in the box. And obviously this transfers into hybrid mixing as well, but if I was gonna start today and build a plugin collection right now in 2021, what plugins would I choose that would get me through any song all in the box, every plugin that I would need to mix in the box? Let's get it done. Okay, so we're on Sweetwater.com, and there's a reason for that, which I'm going to get to very shortly. This is a this is a good one for you guys. Okay, so Sweetwater.com. We're going to go to software and plugins, and let's go to virtual processors. Okay, uh, let's start with equalizers. I think so. For EQs, what I would like uh, for my mixes is I want a transparent EQ, a colorful character EQ, and then I think it's important for a video like this that we're gonna we're gonna do a budget pick for EQ. And so that way there'll be different levels here depending on what you guys want. So uh, let's go to equalizer plugins and see what we got here. Uh, right front and center is one of my top picks. I have talked about this many times on this channel. The FabFilter Pro Q3. And uh, actually let's go ahead and talk about this. I've partnered with Sweetwater to, to give away this plugin. I'm gonna give one of you guys a chance to win this plugin, $179 from Sweetwater. And uh, there's gonna be, in the description of this video will be the details on how to enter to win this plugin. I can't wait, I use this plugin on every single mix, like literally every single mix. Uh, and I'm super pumped to be able to give one to one of you guys. So this is gonna fill the duty of our transparent or our surgical EQ. And so this is a great EQ. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna add to cart. Okay, so we've got our transparent or surgical EQ. So now we're gonna look for an EQ with some character in it that, that will get the job done in, in any song. We got the Waves SSL channel, that's a good pick. What else do we got here? The Sonics Oxford, that's a good one. So I think what we're gonna do, ooh, the Waves Sheps 73. Okay, we're gonna do multiple layers here. The Waves Sheps 73, I have this plugin, I use it a lot. This is a great plugin that has a lot of character to it, especially for $35. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is on sale or what right now, but the Waves Sheps 73, that is a no brainer for 35 bucks. So we're gonna add that to cart. Um, and then since that is so inexpensive, we're gonna go with two character EQs here. So I saw the Waves SSL channel E plugin. Wow, that's only $35 too? Guys, man. Okay, these are, look, these are well worth $35. Uh, we're gonna add to cart there that one as well. So we've got our uh, surgical EQ here, our transparent EQ. We've got the Wave in the FabFilter Pro Q3. We've got the Wave Shep 73, which is a Neve style EQ. And then we've got the Waves SSL E channel EQ. Uh, that pretty much does it. If you can't get the job done with those three, then you need more practice mixing. Let's move on to compression. Okay, so we're gonna go Dynamics Plugins. Okay, so same thing as the EQs. I'm gonna be looking for a transparent compressor and a compressor with some character to it. And then maybe it's not gonna be necessary, but a budget compressor if it's necessary. So let's let's look through here. Let's see here, the Fab Filter. Pro C2, this is a great compressor. For transparent compression, it's a really versatile compressor, but it's not super characterful, char characterful, caricature, anyway. Love this compressor, use it on every single mix, so we are going to add to cart. I'm starting to see a theme here with, with this fab filter stuff. There may be a way to save some money at the end of this with getting one of the fab filter bundles. But so that's gonna be our transparent compressor. So now let's pick a compressor with some character to it. LA-2As aren't quite versatile enough, in my opinion, to be your only compressor. Wow, there's a lot to choose from here. And I use a lot of these halfway off. Okay, <laughs> this is an amazing compressor. This is the Empirical Labs Arouser, and basically it's their distressor in plug-in form. This is an unreal compressor. This is so good. So, so good. So we've got our transparent compressor, and then we've got our compressor that has a lot of character to it. Now let's look for a budget compressor. 
um, because both of those are on the pricier side for plugins. Um, both are absolutely amazing. If you can swing them, do it. Let's look for a budget compressor and see. Ooh, okay. The Waves Renaissance Compressor. This was my only plug-in compressor for many, many, many years. This was the only plug-in compressor I had, and it's $29. I still use it from time to time. Uh, that's that's a no-brainer of a of, for a budget compressor. No-brainer. Okay, added to cart. So now we have our transparent EQ, a couple colorful EQs. We have got our transparent compressor. We've got a colorful character full compressor and then we've got a budget compressor we are we're doing good okay so the next thing is uh, you should have a limiter um, I think everyone should have a good limiter and there are basically no better limiters than the fab filter pro l2 I use this on every single mix I use this for mastering I mean this is a this is a fantastic limiter I can't say enough good things about it so we're gonna do that for our non-budget pick for a limiter. And then let's see if we can find like a budget pick that will kind of get you in the ballpark without paying $200. Now while I'm looking here, I should mention that there are going to be links in the description for every single one of these plugins. Um, and if you use those links in the description, I get just a tiny little commission. And thanks to my friends at Sweetwater for giving a plug-in away and for helping me out with this video. It, it means a lot to me. This is a, this is gonna be a, a kind of a cliche choice, but I'm gonna go with it. Uh, for a budget limiter, I'm gonna go with the Waves L2. If I had to, to pick a budget limiter and I had a budget of 30 bucks, this is, this is what I would choose. And uh, I, again, this was my main limiter for many, many years. So I did plenty of good work with it. So we're gonna add that to cart. Okay, so we've got our Holy Grail limiter, the FabFilter Pro L2 and the Waves L2 for a budget limiter. Um, you know, at this point, here's, a, here's another interesting thing. So we've got the FabFilter Pro Q3 and then we've got the FabFilter Pro C2, the compressor. And then we've got the FabFilter uh, Pro L2 um, we might, so that's $600 for those three plugins. We might just be able to get the bundle. Let's, let's find out here. Fab filter bundle. It, yes, this is the move right here. Okay, so I use this multi-band compressor uh, from FabFilter on every single mix as well. So this is just, this is a no-brainer to get all four of these plugins. If you can swing it financially for $4.99, I mean, Man, that is a no-brainer. That so we're gonna go ahead and add that to cart, and then we are going to uh, we'll discuss more about the options later. Let's look for reverb. We still need a great reverb. We need a few more plugins here to get to get through a mix. So let's go software and plugins, virtual processors. Let's go reverb and delay because we we need a reverb and a delay both. And let's see what we're what we're rocking with here. The even tied black hole, that that interests me, but I've never used it, so I'm not gonna recommend it. Okay, the Slate Digital Verb Suite Classic is fantastic, especially if you download the Bricasti pack for that. That's a that's an unbelievable reverb. Really like that one. FabFilter makes a reverb, and I love everything that FabFilter does. I probably need to try the FabFilter reverb. I'm not gonna lie, Waves is crushing it with, with these affordable with these affordable like plugins, this is this is crazy. Okay, um, the the Waves H reverb. I have this reverb. I've used it on many many mixes. Um, Twenty nine ninety nine. That's a no brainer for a budget reverb. Let's go ahead and pick like a high end reverb as well. If I was picking from this list right now uh, to actually purchase all these. I would get the FabFilter Reverb, the FabFilter Pro R. It's got to be incredible. Everything FabFilter does is incredible. So that's going to be like our big reverb. Um, and that gives us a, a awesome reverb and a budget reverb. Now let's look for a delay. We're getting close. And it, if you're on a budget and you actually went with all of these budget options, I think you're going to be into this for like $120 and be able to crank out like killer mixes for 120 bucks. Let's see, let's find us a delay. Waves again, crushing it right out of the gate. Uh, this Waves H delay is awesome. For $29, you literally can't go wrong. I used this on probably hundreds of songs. Uh, so for a budget delay, we're gonna go with 
the Waves H delay. Let's backtrack and find like a holy grail, like really awesome delay. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Fab Filter Timeless 3. I have one of the Fab Filter delays and it's awesome. I don't have this one, but I would totally go for this and I, Fab Filter stuff. Have I said that Fab Filter stuff is awesome? I promise I'm not like a super fanboy, but just everything they make works. We're gonna add that to cart. Okay, so now we need some saturation. I use saturation in every single mix. Um, we need a saturation plugin. Let's see what our options are. Decapitator, can't go wrong with Decapitator. Yeah, we're gonna go with Decapitator. You can't go wrong with Decapitator. It sounds awesome and Decapitator is good at like uh, higher drive levels, higher levels of saturation. And so that's awesome. Your DAW of choice. I know Pro Tools has lo-fi built in. That's a saturation plugin and I'd be happy using that in some instances for sure. And I'm sure whatever DAW you're using has some saturation built into it as well. Oh, you know what? We need, we need one more plugin. We need a budget transparent kind of EQ. Let's let's find that. I think we if I was picking a budget transparent EQ, I would go for the Waves. Yeah, here we go. Waves Renaissance EQ. The, I think this one sounds fine, especially for $29. $29. So there's some great options here. We've we've got transparent EQs, we've got character EQs, we've got transparent compressors, character character compressors, we've got uh, budget compressors, we've got budget EQs, we've got limiter, like great limiter and budget limiters, uh, and then you could get the bundle, the Fab Filter bundle, if you decided you wanted all four of those. I can't recommend that enough. I have all of them, use them on every mix. You've got a budget uh, reverb and a big, like a nice reverb. You've got a budget delay and a big delay. You've got some saturation here. Guys, I could mix any song with fantastic results with the plugins from this list, but I, I'm curious about something. Let's see if we only kept our budget options, what that would actually cost us. The, you know, I did not plan on this being like a commercial for Waves, I, I really didn't. But when it comes to doing budget picks and like bang for buck, it's way up there, honestly. Okay, so if you were on a budget and you needed a complete list of plugins to mix any song and get through everything with, here would be my picks. The Waves Sheps 73, the Waves SSL E channel, and you could pick either or of these. You don't necessarily need both. Personally, I'd want both, but you don't need both. We've also got our uh, Waves Renaissance EQ for your more transparent EQ. You've got the Waves Renaissance Compressor for your compressor. We've got the Waves L2 for your limiter. We've got the Waves H delay for your delay. And the w Waves, I, I'm saying Waves too many times. And the Waves H reverb for your reverb. I would mix any song with these and the grand total would be $221.93 to get yourself a complete, complete full set of plugins that would get you through any song. That's crazy. Don't forget to check the description of this video for the details on how to enter to win the giveaway, the FabFilter Pro Q3. I'm super pumped about this. Uh, I love that plugin. And honestly, I would happily use any of these plugins, and I do use most of these plugins all the time. So I hope this helped you, and uh, I thought this was kind of a fun one. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.